In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a good blitz that you can use from the big nickel over G. Now, I am in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. However, this one's gonna be in the four, six and the other defensive playbooks. If you know another playbook, Put it in the comments below for people to see. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, become a member of the Wolf Pack. I'm probably gonna drop the full big nickel over G defensive scheme in the member section for you guys to use because it is a really good defense. It's very solid, it's a bend don't break. You can send pressure, you can do some mad coverage, you know what I mean? So make sure you guys drop a like and let's talk about it. Now, personnel, first things first, when you come to the big nickel, make sure that your pot package over here on the left side says slot cornerback. You'll see me circulating through these, okay? You'll see that it has D-line sub, CB swap, but we, what we want is the slot cornerback. That's the one you need to have. And then personnel inside, make sure your user, which is gonna be right here where the linebacker is, is your fastest safety. So my next good one is gonna be Stevens with a 91 speed. You can probably make it faster taking someone else off the back end if you have fast safeties. Uh, the Ravens have pretty good speed as far as safeties go. And then your line, you just want your best pass rushers. And then you can change out your linebacker, man. That's what's good about the big nickels that we can have good pass rushers on the outside. So Houston's really good. And then here you can either put a pass rusher or you can put a, another fast linebacker, whatever you want to do. Now the play we're going to talk about today is going to be the SS Blitz 3. To send the blitz, this is not going to be just like standard regular coverage. We're sending pressure from this one. So we're going to flip the play. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And then here on offense, we'll just go against vertical so you guys can actually see the blitz in action and how it works and what you're looking for. Okay, so if you're trying to send just a standard five man, this is going to be the adjustment that you make. Uh, for big nickel it's not the same as it used to be it gets picked up now if you're using old setups so the new setups is going to be like this we're going to pinch the d-line left on a d-pad left stick down for pinch then we're going to crash him down left on the d-pad right stick down for slant inside next thing we're going to do is we're going to qb contain the line so rb or r1 qb contain okay now if if it's not popping up i don't know if they're still active or if they're actually working but EA needs to fix this. This is just a bad product, it's bad design. Doesn't matter, you contain them anyway, okay? Even if they don't pop up. Now, what's important is they'll probably pop up now. You wanna make sure that this guy is not in a contain angle. So if they do drop contains, you wanna make sure that he's not in a contain angle. And I don't know why, maybe if I put myself on a blitz, okay, it's still not popping up. And then all you do with your user, you wanna shade underneath for your coverage. Shade underneath. Okay, look, there it is, I shade underneath. Now the contains pop up. So remember, we don't want him on the contain, all right? We just wanna bring him close, but we don't want him on a contain. You want your play art to look exactly like this. When I snap the ball, all I'm gonna do is touch the guy that's right in front of me and go into coverage. So snap the ball, touch the guy, come back into coverage, free release to the quarterback, okay? Now that's a vertical, that's a running back on a, on a check and go where he checks the blitz, checks, but he never stops and plays defense, man. Like he don't block, he'd rather run his route. All right, so again, we're gonna pinch the line, crash him down, QB contain, shade underneath. That's when our contains will pop up. Boom, bring this guy in. Make sure, can okay, you see how he's on a contain angle? We don't want that. Let's bring him out a little bit. Boom, we want him just on a regular blitz. We're gonna shade underneath. Once we snap the ball, we come here. Boom, this guy just bullied me, bro. And that's what we're looking for. Now, when they block their running back, there's still a chance they could come in if the running back's on the wrong side. Okay, so if we block the running back, he'll probably get picked up with this setup. Crash, QB contain, bring him in, shade underneath. He's on a contain angle, we don't want that. We want him on a regular blitzing angle. Like that, I don't know what is happening with it. Bro, just, I don't know. So anyway, it's probably gonna be picked up. For the most part, you'll see how it's getting picked up, no matter how you set it up. So if you're gonna wanna send pressure, let's just say it's third and 16, fourth and 20. This is what I want you to do. You're gonna go into your coaching adjustments. I wish they would add it to next gen 22. Bro, it's not even a next gen Madden 21 where you can access coaching adjustments. It's only in current gen. This is ridiculous. How do you practice in practice mode? You can't even use the full aspects of making changes. You know what I mean? Anyway, so you set your coaching adjustments to 25, all right? And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna, if, if they're blocking their running back and you still want this blitz to come in, all right, this is what I want you to do. Follow my lead, we're gonna shift the D-line right. So if it's third and long, you don't even use the other setup. You come straight to this one and try to memorize it. You have to lab this up, you have to practice. People are like, Oh, you can't do that in the game, bro. You could do everything, bro. If you've seen my gameplays where I'm setting up my own defenses, they require more adjustments than these. You could do it, man. I believe in you. All right, what we're gonna do is shift the D-line right or shift the defense right. RB or L1, left stick to the right. It's gonna shift the defense, okay? 
Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to show blitz. Now, what's gonna, I shouldn't have clicked on him, but what's gonna happen is wire triangle left stick to show blitz. Elliot comes down. Now you see my blue, pay attention. I'm gonna put him on a blitz, okay? Now he's on a blitz. This guy is gonna go into his zone, inside third. So now we have an inside third this way. And then we just bring this guy in a little bit like this. And then we do the same thing, blocked running back, same thing. All we're going to do is make contact with this guy. Boom, okay? Now it's still coming in because of the blocked running back. You guys get what I'm saying? So let's talk about that one right now, okay? Now, shift the whole defense right, show blitz, blitz this guy, put this guy on the inside third, bring this guy in, blitz yourself, and then come right here, okay? Make contact with this guy right here. Boom, that's all we gotta do. Or make him to where he slows down or stutters and he can't stop the blitz coming in even when they block the running back. Now that is a very situational blitz where if you need the pressure to come in for big nickel, that is how you're gonna set it up. It's third and long, fourth and long. They're going for it. A lot of people go for it on fourth down. This is when you use the setup. It's the most important one. And don't forget, once you're done, go back and change your coaching adjustments back down to whatever you want. But for the blitz, you set those coaching adjustments, set those cloud flats. Okay, so you're gonna shade down and up. I don't know if I mentioned that. We're gonna shift the whole lot of the defense right, show blitz, blitz Elliott, inside third, bring this guy in, shade down and up, blitz ourselves, and then come down right here. All right, so that cloud flat will cover a crossing route coming from the trip side, and then you just watch the first down line, boom, make contact. Well, actually, didn't make contact. That's actually my fault. You gotta make contact with that guy, or, or at least try to get him to, to get scared. Shift, okay, same thing. Show blitz, blitz Elliott, inside third, Bring this guy in, shade down, shade up. Like this, block the running back, touch the guy. That's what we want, that's what we're looking for. Simple, man. All right, I'm teaching you guys. Like I said, I'm probably gonna drop the full scheme. Now, here's another thing you have to worry about. If it's a trip formation, this is extra tip. If it's a trips formation, you have to be careful. If you're gonna send the five men, you're gonna get cooked on a seam route right up the middle of the field. Why? Because of your blue. Remember, we're flipping the defense, so it's not gonna be on the side of the trips. Let's just pray and say you get lucky and the trips is actually on that side, which never works. You may have to bring this guy over yourself, bro. Okay, just bring him down. You know what I mean? If you're setting up the regular, the regular blitz and then bring this guy down about right here, shade underneath like this. Okay, you may have to do this. I mean, it's just something that has to happen. Like once you get become more advanced into the game, you'll be able to pull it off, man. All right, you just gotta practice. All right, we don't want no negativity. Just practice it and you're gonna get it. Don't show blitz unless you're gonna blitz Elliot, bro. Okay, so don't show blitz unless you're actually going to blitz Elliot because that's going to hurt you. Put this guy on the inside third, you know what I mean? And then blitz him if you're gonna need to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop a like, man. Uh, use this to your advantage. I'm going to come up with more, more defenses. I'm probably going to do a coverage defense with this one on the next video. And then we'll drop the big Nick over G scheme, hopefully in the member section, uh, unless I test it and it's not as great. I'm not going to give you stuff that, that you can't really use in the game, but big Nick over G has always been a, a decent defense since they launched it. They used to call it the DDA defense because all you would have to do is run cover three skies stock and it would do everything for you. Um, so stay tuned, man. Love you guys, man.